Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about a few things that happened on the market today. EA gave out some free cards. Uh, they actually started that process today, giving out the Sissokos, the Onanas, and I think maybe Rodri's as well. I'm not sure if Rodri ever actually went into packs, um, but I know they gave out the Sissokos and the Onana cards today as a payment uh, in return for those people who packed the gold cards. Actually, I'm probably fairly certain that they gave out this card as well because of how plentiful it looks on the market. I have not been watching his price, but an 88 rated card from La Liga, that would be a very good card for SBC. So we'll have to kind of watch that price. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about the Onana and the Sissoko. Talk about their supply a little bit um, and how I kind of see them on the market for the rest of this game since they got that. Um, they got a lot more supply than some of the other team of the seasons would have. Um, because of the fact that a lot of people opened packs in that it was a three hour window on Friday if you're not super familiar with the situation um, I'm not gonna look up EA's tweet because it was just a huge jumbled mess of words of them talking about hey instead of these uh, team of the season cards being in packs um, like they were advertised so um, they tweeted out what's going on here with the Sissoka all right there we go that's the right bit 80k so they tweeted out the team that was uh, in packs the full team and they tweeted out the Sissoko card as part of that which he should not have been because he was going to be a SBC down the road later in the week uh, but instead they were they tweeted his card out inside of the promo team that they said was going to be in packs in their first tweet so obviously his card was not actually in the game as the team of the season card it was his gold card so basically EA said and they compensated everybody if you packed his gold card within the first three hour window um, before they sent out another tweet and realized like, hey, we messed up here. If you packed him in that in that scenario, if you got him tradable or untradable, if you got his base 76 rated, I think it is gold card, you got this team of the season card back in return. Um, so a lot of people are gonna have this card because if you think about the drop weight of the 76 rated Sissoko, it's gonna drop a lot more commonly on the market than this team of the season card would so now you have an SBC out for the Sissoko card that was pretty cheap around 100 115,000 coins a lot of people did it um, but now you have this card that got the supply today and it's going to continue to get this supply over the next couple of days he's now down at 90k and I think he's going to go even lower same thing with this Onana card and the Rodri I haven't watched the Rodri too much but I want to look at Onana because he is getting to a very interesting price. This is an interesting card because um, of the IX hype and the Eredivisie hype that has been going on this year. Right now he's at 32,000 coins and he's without a dynamic image on my screen. But um, this Onana card at 32,000 coins, if you go onto the game and look at the cheapest players by rating, which we do every single video almost, you see the cheapest 88 rated players are down here like 31, 32K and he is right there with him also being at 31 32k so a lot of people are eyeing this investment as a possible card that could rise when it goes out of packs um, just because you know air divisi tots might come we might see a team of the season delict we already have that tagliafico people might try to make a little bit of an air divisi back line and now you have a goalkeeper that you can link to um, a delict card and get a green link there without having to use uh, vvd and use an icon goalkeeper like van der sar or maybe a hullet um, or some other um, Netherlands link to this Onana card or to Delict. Now you have the Onana who gets a green link to Delict. And I think this card was gonna be pretty hyped for that. And honestly, if you look at his stats, one stat that jumps out to me, he has 75 speed. There's only one other goalkeeper in this game, to my knowledge, that has the same speed as that. That is team of the year De Gea. So I'm very interested to see if this card is very OP in game because he has the very high speed stat. Um, now, I want to look at his base card for just a second as well um, to see what that looks like. But this card got a huge, huge stat boost. This, here's his regular um, his UCL rare card. You go 65 speed on his base card. Um, he is a very young and athletic goalkeeper. And I think this card is uh, going to be one that a lot of people want to try. And especially now, since a lot of people have him untradeable and they packed him tradable from that EA mishap. Um, even check your clubs. You might not even realize or know if you packed him because that's one of those cards you would just quickly quick sell or send to the club. So hopefully you sent it, you sent it to the club 
I don't know what EA is doing. If they said that if you quick sold it, then you would not get the card, or if you quick sold it, you would get the card. But that's an interesting situation that happened today. And I don't think those cards are really great investments, except for the Onana down at under 32,000 coins, I think is a decent investment. I have a couple of them on my transfer list, just because he could rise out of packs being a team of the season card, 88 rated, and he, he is at the current 88 rated, like the discard SBC value um, that those cards are sitting at. So I also want to look at the SBCs that came out today because we got one SBC and it was this Rabio card. And it is honestly very intriguing to me. It's also very interesting. A lot of people think that EA just threw this SBC out right away, kind of last minute. Um, today it's uh, 6 p.m. UK. Earn a flashback Rabio celebrating his inclusion in Community Team of the Season 2018. And now it is a bit pricey. You have an 86 rated squad and two 85s with high chemistry. So that card's price is actually running you. If we go over here and flip in, take a refresh of the squad building challenge page and look at his price, 373,000 coins, and it's only out for three more days. This is very smart by EA's part because this SBC will expire before Friday, before lightning rounds, and before they would expect high rated golds to go down again. So this SBC, I mean, the card looks very nutty. He's basically, I heard somebody say today, he is rude hullet without four star skills and a four star weak foot. High medium work rates, lefty, um, he is he's Hullet Gang in every cat in every stat category. He's got 90 passing. His only bad stat is free kick accuracy, which is fine. You're not going to take a free kick with him. Great sta great stamina, great strength, um, great tackling, great passing, even really good agility and balance for a six foot four player in the midfield. I'm interested to see, and this is something you guys can watch for too. Wait until you see reviews start popping up on this card on Footbin, uh, because this weekend we are getting. League One's Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year SBCs, Mbappe, Neymar, Pepe are all in the running for those SBCs. That could be some hype around League One this weekend. It'll be on Sunday. We'll talk about investments for that later this week. But this card would get a perfect link to Mbappe, and I think that is why some people are doing it and are considering do it, doing it, myself included. I know it's expensive, but think about how expensive this card would be on the market. I'm assuming that if you have a guy like Endon Bailey at 260k, I'm thinking that this card, with way better stats, um, he has a League SBC card that people have said is very, very good in game. Um, I'm thinking that that card might be somewhere around, at its settling point, 500 to 600k on the market in the game of FIFA. If it was actually on the market, a 90 rated Rabio Tots card it would have to be. So that's why I see the SBC as a decent value. I'm going to consider doing it because I like I would like to have Mbappe and Neymar in my final team. Um, you get a 50k pack back from it, a prime gold players pack, and a 35k mega pack. So it's not the best of deals, but if you're somebody who loves PSG, if you love the Neymar and Mbappe links, and if you really need to link Mbappe, it could be a very easy way to do that. Being that um, you could have Mbappe at right wing, you could have Neymar at left wing, and you could stick this Rabio in the middle, get a strong link to Neymar and a perfect link to Mbappe very easily, and then do some switching around in game. And that's why it's tempting to me, because I could put him at striker and still have a Cristiano Ronaldo at center mid linking to, you know, a Cancelo at right back for kind of a switch around in game. That's why that SBC is very intriguing to me. I would continue to watch that card's price because right now, that uh, actually caused the high rated golds to go up. And that's what I want to move into talking about next. If you guys clubbed stocked these cards on Sunday night or even before that, you are in the money this week. Now, I want to talk about that here a little bit. If you club stock the 86s, I got a lot of those around 15K, 14K. And then the 87s, they're not really up that much, but you know, 3, 4K a card on some of them. I bought an Allison, I remember, for 20k flat. I bought an Iniesta for 20k flat. This is why we do the club stocks. Um, now, obviously, we're going to have more supply on these cards coming this weekend. So if you club stocked, or even if you just have some of these clubs or cards in your club, like even these 85s, they're all at 10k. They were at 7k on Saturday night, heading into Sunday. Take the money on those. Take the money on those today or tomorrow. Just take the money before weekend league rewards. Get them out of your club. And then we'll have another opportunity to club stock these cards again come Premier League Tots in the weekend where there's going to be a lot more packs opened again this weekend. And a lot of the SBCs will be out of the store. Uh, the Rabio expires in a couple days. 
I think the RVP might have a little bit longer of a time frame than that. Uh, but the EFL Tots player is gone here in 14 hours. I still need to do that. We're going to have Barzagli is going to be gone. If there's any still hype around that card, that's going to be gone. Valencia is going to be gone if anybody is trying to complete that. Yeah, three days on that. So a lot of the SBCs are going to be gone. The only things that are going to be left are like the Ribery, the, the, the Van Persie. Uh, I guess the Sissoko would be gone as well. Maybe the Carlos Vela and the Vardy. I don't think a lot of people are doing those. But again, if you have some of the high rateds, this is a great opportunity, and this is why we do club stock. It's basically a no risk. So you bought them at their lowest value. We got SBC. They're up. List them for lazy buyers. Continue to list them and sell them before rewards on Thursday. Um, sell your 85s, your 86s. Actually, sell your 84s as well. Those are pretty inflated. 87s I would include in that category. The 88s and 89s didn't move too much. They're still about the same just because that SBC didn't require too many of them. So... Um, if you did a club stock, get those out, I would say, in the next day or so, and we'll have another opportunity to get back in this weekend. That's the great thing about club stocking. Now, I want to look at one last thing, and that is discard team of the seasons. And since we just looked at that EFL Tots SBC, and since it actually only has a couple hours left when you're watching this video, I want to check out here and see if these cards' prices are maintaining a lower price level so it looks like we're still for the league two or efl league one we're still pretty pretty high up i think the cheapest ones come from the efl league two uh with some 80 rated tots guys yeah right here with norwood and o'shea they're chilling around twenty three thousand coins which isn't quite discard yet um do i think it's still a good idea to invest in these probably not i would say your best chance to look into these cards again to try to get them at 20k flat um, or as close to 20k as possible. I think that's a good idea because that's discard But I think your best opportunity to do that is going to be let's say today They drop an SBC that gives out a pretty big pack. You might have some influx of those cards on the market, but then also um, Just wait until rewards on on Thursday That's gonna be an opportunity where a lot of people played weekend league this weekend A lot of people did rivals during the week because they knew they wanted to stack packs for this promotion stay away from the 80 rated cards but if you're looking to stack some of these um, higher rated, or not higher rated, if you're looking to stack some of these discard team of the seasons, uh, this is a great opportunity to go out and do that. As you see a lot of these cards here at 24,000 coins. I would say 22 and under is a good buy price for a lot of these cards. And you see they pop up pretty often for these 80 rateds. Uh, my preference would be if you could get this low card, the Liam Cooper, the Reese James, the Henderson, any of the 84 rated cards, if you can get those for 23,000 coins or under, I think that's a pretty good look. Just because if there is any squad requirement rating for any of the future TOTS SBCs, you're going to want to have one of these higher rated cards. They would go up more than somebody like a Walker or a Norwood or an O'Shea would. So that's another area to watch. And we only have one more day or only a few more hours of this EFL guaranteed SBC here in the store. So that's only a few more hours where this SBC is really kind of holding down the price of those EFL TOTS cards because you can go get one for 20,000 coins easy with this SBC and that kind of brings down the price of those cards on the market. So keep watching for that. Again, if you're doing bronze pack method, that's pretty profitable right now. A lot of people are doing league SBCs. A lot of people are spending their time on FIFA in this section just because of the fact that uh, there's a lot of coins to be made to open packs and to get yourself a chance at a team of the season card. Now, last big point that I do want to make, just released and talked about a couple hours ago, you will be able to get, um, as you see it here, player pick special items. They're calling it now for weekend league rewards. You are going to be able to get team of the season players from these rewards. Now, I want to clear up a little bit of um, a little bit of confusion with these. So, EA tweeted that if you get, uh, you can see it here. You, you know how many players you're going to get. It's basically the same as before. However many player picks that you got previously, um, you know you still get that same amount. So, three player pick special items for Elite One, Elite Two, and Elite Three, um, and then over here. Gold 2, Gold 1, and Gold 3 all get 2, I believe. Yes, they do. Um, but here's where it gets interesting. You, uh, If you get Gold 2 or above, you are guaranteed to get one of those players. 
So for gold two and gold one, you get two player pick items. In gold, in the elite, you get three. If you are gold two or gold one or higher, gold two or higher, you are guaranteed to get one of those players from the major league that is out in packs at that time. If you're in gold three or silver one, you have no rating cap on these cards, but you're not guaranteed any of the major league. So you might get some from the lower league. And it, that just also tells us that we're going to get, like we got EFL most consistent, we're going to get two leagues on Friday at the same time because both of those items, both of those teams will be in packs. There's going to be a major league and a smaller league that come out on Friday at the same time. So like this weekend, it could be Premier League and Liga Nos. So you'll have an opportunity next Thursday to pack a Premier League card in rewards, a TOTS card, or a Liga NOS. Gold 2 or above, you're, gain, you're guaranteed one Premier League card. Gold 3 and Silver 1, there's no rating cap, and you're not guaranteed anybody from either league. And then Silver 2 and Silver 3, you have a um, rating cap of 87 overall for your player picks. So that would most likely guarantee you one from the lower league of for what's going on that week. So if it's Liga Nos, you'd be guaranteed a Liga Nos card. Um, you could still get a Premier League card if there is a Premier League TOTS card that is under um, 87 rated, but I don't think that will be too likely. But Team of the Season cards are going to be in these packs, which is gonna motivate a lot of people to play Weekend League this weekend, which we're gonna have to talk about uh, tomorrow in our market video looking at Thursday flipping, and I think there's actually going to be a pretty good possibility to do that this weekend um, because people are going to be wanting to buy some teams um, for playing the weekend league. You know, when people have to play and they have to perform and they, they want to get a good record for whatever rewards might be out, they go hard. They go out and they buy the players, they spend coins to get those high rated players that they need um, to get as high rank as possible. There's gonna be a lot of people grinding the game this weekend for the possibility of packing a TOTS player, myself included. I stopped at six wins this weekend just because I ran out of time, um, but I'll definitely be trying to hopefully hit silver one or gold three. Um, if gold three, particularly to get those two player pick items, now it's gonna push a lot of people to try to play to gold two because you get the one guaranteed Premier League player. So if you can get there easily by yourself, definitely go for it. But remember that Gold 3 is still super duper OP, so don't forget about that. Um, but that's pretty cool that they wanted to do that uh, for us. You get a chance at some red player pick items of the Team of the Season cards. I imagine that they'll be red. I don't think they'll be the normal Team of the Season blue. We'll just have to find out and see. If you enjoyed this video, though, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.